Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to A Hat in Time. In the last part, we finished up the lava cake. In this part, we are going to reassemble some crayons, uh, which will give us a new, um, what's it called, time rift over on the free roam planet. However, I think we should do this room first. Mainly because I, I tried Twilight Bell and it, it beat me up a lot. So we're going to do the time rift in the lab instead. It's still a platforming one, so you'll still get to see me fail. But I think this one's a little easier than uh, the Twilight Bell was. Especially with mine. Oh! Well, that was a very uh, drastic start. You're very pushy. In fact, you're worse than the, um, what are they called? Um, big goats that are in the, uh, in the Alpine Skyline, I think is what the lawn's called. Sorry, I'm gonna try to... One hit launches you across the map. I'd believe it. They're, they look like very strong birds. But yeah, in the Alpine Skyline. So, we're gonna hopefully beat up that one. Oh! His buddy got me. Oh, Alright. Sorry, I just fell to my death a lot in the last few, well, last hour, I guess. I spent about an hour trying to beat the uh, Twilight Bell and it just, it rocked me. I've got to get um, either a little better with my controller or something else to be able to survive it. And <clears throat> uh, the, the vision I had in that area was not helping right here. Let's kill a fat guy. We should be safe from the other ones as long as we're up here. Um, that's interesting flickering. I don't think it's meant to be played at this graphics then, I guess. Since it seems to be hating on me. Alright. But that's the only place to go from here, so... Let's try one more time. Perfect. Alright, we're up. And I like that lamp post, it's a very helpful checkpoint. I do not, however. Ooh. Will brewing hat work? It would, alright. So with the brewing hat, you can. I guess this being the lab, that kind of makes sense. The brewing hat will shortcut a lot of these enemies. Uh, we died, but we've seen this happen before in one of these time rifts. We're just going to respawn at this lamp. So, no big loss. So, uh, I'm getting a little... You know what? No. It's been too uh, inconsistent. I'm going to have to use my keyboard. Weird way for me to end that level, but honestly, we actually succeeded at getting through it, so... Definitely uh, might be better for me to use my keyboard uh, from now on with my controller being uh, evil. You know what? No, I want that hat. It's the nice Vivian hat. I want to equip that. Uh, Vivian from Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. So that's, that's good. And that rift took a lot less time than the um, last one did. Um, let's actually see. Oh, I remembered why I don't use this. Uh, I don't know all the buttons on this one. Uh, at all. I know a few of them, but I don't even know how to do the dash. That is something I'm unaware of. Oh. Oh, it's control to do the dash. All right. Let's see. Let's head over to the Battle of the Birds, because why not? And we'll take a look. So the areas are DJ Grooves and oh, thank you. We'll unlock this one, Train Rush, and we're exactly one pawn short of unlocking DJ Grooves. So I guess in the next part we will do Train Rush. A uh, very, very short one this time. Uh, we'll be trying to do this 
at this point without um, using. You know, you know what? We're gonna go get that one pawn. Uh, should be right here. Uh, we're gonna be using our con our keyboard for the rest of this. There, we got our pawns. A uh, very short part this time. Maybe I'll throw in some of the failure from the Twilight Bell, but probably not. Have a great day, you guys, and in the next part, we will continue on with the Battle of the Birds. Nope, not, not. No, come on. Thank you. The Big Parade or the Train Rush? I'm feeling the Big Parade. Let's get uh, DJ Groove's a lot more points. He's already fallen behind. So, see you guys at... Oh wow, five, yeah, I'm gonna probably have to add in some Twilight Bell failure, but still, see you guys.